so happy you're back in the kitchen with us. Mickey is here, and we've talked about her cookbook before, Making Healthy Recipes Using Olive Oil. And today we're going to make gingerbread healthy for you. Right. Is this easy to do? This is so easy to do, and I'm so excited to do it. All right, what do we need to start? Okay, well, first off, I'm converting a recipe, and I want to teach the viewers today how to convert their recipes into a healthier version. So, so if you have a favorite at home that right. maybe has a little more butter right. or fat in right. it, what do you do? Well, we're going to talk about making it healthy with whole grains, with olive oil, and just using some little tricks. And this mm -hmm. will be on the website later, on your website. But we're going to make a lemon gingerbread with lemon curd sauce. And we're going to start first off with olive oil. Now, normally, the, the recipe that was given to me by a viewer and a friend uh, had, a, had about, I think it was 3 quarters of a cup of butter. No, it was a cup of butter. And this is 2 thirds of a cup of olive oil. Now, what olive oil is the best to use okay. for baking? Unless, if you know your olive oil really well, then mm -hmm. you can use an extra virgin if it's a lighter olive oil. This happens to be a lighter olive oil that I get from California. But most people would use, when they're just starting out, a pure olive oil. If they wanted to go to the store or they, you know, they could order it online, but they want to get a mild extra virgin olive oil. Mild extra virgin. Or pure olive oil because it still has the same monounsaturated fat. Of course, the extra virgin is much healthier. Are you going to taste it? You in your baking? You won't taste it no, unless... it won't affect it. Some olive oil, though, is peppery, so you have to be very careful. That's why you need to know your olive oil. Otherwise, for most people, use pure olive oil. Got it. Okay, good tip. So, so let's pour that in there. Two-thirds of a cup. So there we just saved on fat there, and the fat we're using is all mono and saturated. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've got that, and we're going to start there. We've got half a cup of light brown sugar, and that's been sitting in the light. I know, that happens to okay. my, my brown sugar, too. We're just going to start too. tossing things in. We've right, got a couple two of eggs. eggs, and if you're concerned about eggs, you can do three egg whites, mm -hmm. or two eggs and one egg white, or one egg and two egg whites. This is buttermilk. This is a cup of buttermilk. Instead so, of milk? Instead of, well, instead of milk, or you can use regular fat-free milk or buttermilk. So that's another tip. This is better for you, right. too, than the regular milk. Right. Some recipes milk. call for sour cream. You would want to use maybe a low-fat yogurt or a fat-free yogurt. You won't be able to tell the difference, really. That's the idea of sneaking it in. So you, you have to just look at the recipe differently. Right. What can right. I substitute? Very, very simple. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so you're doing that. And then we're going to go ahead. Now, I use fresh ginger in this. And um, I've got fresh ginger, which is, oh, I didn't I put it away. Okay. So we're going to put in the fresh ginger. Well, it tastes better, doesn't sugar. it? I think fresh is always better. Mm -hmm. I'm with and you. And then we've got some lemon zest because we're going to lemon up here. Smells lemon so good. Um, I've never tried okay. lemon gingerbread before. So it's really, really, really surprisingly good. Well, the sweet with the citrus. Right. I can imagine. Right. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and beat that up. Let's hope we have that turned on. I'll try not to splash you this time. That's okay. okay. I can. So maybe we won't be turning that oh, on. Oh, is it plugged in? There we go. And? And? You're magic. I'm magic in the kitchen. That doesn't happen at okay. my house. <laughs> oh, uh, only here. Last time I sprayed you. Because <laughs> this isn't my mixer. Well, the kitchen, the kitchen the egg gets excited. She has throws it all out. <laughs> okay, so a little bit of molasses okay. in there. Now, a little trick with the molasses. Now, this is a half cup of molasses. Little trick. You can put some, use the same, uh, if you don't have them in pre made things like mm -hmm. this, use the same container that you used your oil in, and then it doesn't stick. Oh, good idea. Yeah, then so it all just slides right, right out of there. Right, right. And now we're going to throw in, we don't want to do this while it's on, because we know what happens when we do that when we, it's on. That happened last now, time. Now, this is Mickey. whole wheat pastry flour. Now, whole wheat pastry flour is a totally different type of flour. Whole wheat pastry flour is not the same as your regular wheat flour. It's lower in gluten, and it, and it won't work for breads. So you can find it in the grocery store. I was going to say, where do you get that? Yeah, grocery, grocery store, health store. Food store. Whole wheat, soft pastry wheat. So not for breads, but things like right. the it's gingerbread. Right, wheat berry, but it actually makes a really soft <laughs> dessert. You'll be amazingly surprised with that. So we're going to go ahead and put that in, and we've got our cinnamon and cloves, teaspoon and a half of cinnamon, and just about a quarter teaspoon of cloves, and a teaspoon and a half of baking soda. So everything you put in here, good for you. Good for you. All of it. Absolutely, absolutely. And the thing is, your friends will not, and your family, you'll be able Won't to know the difference. Them. They will not know the difference most of the time. My problem is, I want to justify and have more. <laughs> That's <laughs> what I'm saying. It's about, I want to have a little bit more. Yeah, it's about a third less fat, so you can have a third more. You can have a right. little. Okay. That's a good idea. All right, mix it, it, mix it in there. We're running out of time, but we want to show how it comes together. Okay. And we also have a lemon curd sauce, so we have time to throw that together. Um, why don't we put that recipe on the website? I can't awesome. believe how good that smells. Yeah. Oh, but that cinnamon, that cinnamon and that and fresh lemon. ginger and the lemon. 
Now we can put together a piece really quick so you want to try it. All right, let's try it. Okay. Now you can top this with frozen yogurt if you mm -hmm. want. And we have a plate somewhere. Let's grab a plate. <laughs> Grab one right there, really and then did these just plate. come out of the oven? Um, they are oh, fresh baked, and then we also have some lemon curd sauce. What you put on top? It's just a this little bit of sugar little, on the bacon. You can put some lemon in it and some sugar with the lemon, and just make a little lemon sugar right here. You just put in lemon zest, and then you just kind of and that makes it look good. pretty. And it can sit around for weeks. On the top too. Makes it look pretty. Makes it taste good. Okay, if you need this recipe, and I promise we'll put the sauce on the website too, so you right. can put that yumminess on top of the gingerbread. That's so good for you. Go to our website, abc4.com. Click on Good Things Utah, or you can always call our recipe hotline 801-975-4443. Press two for recipes. And Mickey's been nice enough to uh, leave us a copy of her cookbook and some olive oil to give away to someone in our studio audience. Tell people where they can get your cookbook as well. Um, go to my website, oliveoildesserts.com. It's available at all fine booksellers and amazon.com. Um, thank you, and I thank thought you, you had some much. great healthy tips for thank us in the kitchen much. to change it around for the holidays, everybody. Thanks. Up my next, pleasure. that's a great gift idea for mom or grandma. We have another one for you with our holiday gift guide. We'll be right back.